Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Cordant. We are back for some more Rogue Trader. We were just ambushed outside of the Legion's Palace. Uh, we killed all of the thugs, apparently from the Enver's group. Uh, I think we got some new loot. Ah yeah, we found out the location of the, um, the Enver Gang's hideout. And we also picked up a chain axe, which doesn't seem to be particularly interesting. I also noticed that I had a shotgun on my character. Which means I'm gonna give him the better shotgun. There's no reason to use the, the old one here. And I think that's all that I wanted. I would love to use this revolver. I, I, I want to find a build where I can use revolvers because I love them so much. I'm just not sure if they're going to be as effective as other weapons. Or at least not the ones we have. Let's check out if the Leech did something about the Carnival Barker. Uh, it did not. Okay, so maybe he will only do not something after we hold up our end of the bargain, I imagine. Oh. Wait, what's happening? You're in deep, friend. You've made some powerful people very angry. Oh, di- Stop! No, yeah, wait! Vladaim told us to make sure you're not seen around here again. And we will. Oh. Well, honestly, it works for me. This guy sucked, so... Who cares? Well, apparently... <laughs> can, I, can I free them? Uh... Okay, no, we cannot free them. Yeah, so this guy doesn't mess around. He just straight up solves problems. <laughs> Which, you know, there's 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 some upside to that. Uh, I'm gonna check if Hieronymus has something to say. Um, given that we advanced our quests. No. I guess I can see what this does. Can we move our conversation to a place more befitting people of our rank? Why? For a missionary, his temple is a patch of deck beneath his feet. From where I stand, I can clearly see the life of my flock, all its bustling, blooming and wilting. Here I can see their vile urges, futile hopes and flashes of sincerity. If I were in the habit of locking myself in a temple, would I have made it in time to intervene in the massacre of your subjects from Kiavagama? No. Truth resides not in golden halls, but here, in the square, among the people. Golden halls are home, for, are home to other, far filthier things. I agree. Victory so no new dialogue likes. from him. Let's make our way into, I believe, the Shadow Quarter. Yes, Shadow Quarters. Sector 2. Which I think is near the bar. Which is all also where we have the other lady. Persona non grata. Okay, let's just go straight into the bar. And meet her. I forget her name. It's Jay. Or is it Jay? I think it's Jay. Okay. I won't tolerate weakness. And she is there. Jay. Yeah. Okay. Cutscene? Cutscene. Rough day. You have no idea. I just might. That's the second bottle you've downed. Jai Hidari. Falco sends his regards. And what does that unholy scion of a Grox and a Brahan want from me this time? Oh, wait. I don't really care. My sole plans for tonight are drowning my grief in a sea of Amasak. Who will give you grief, all right? Get out! <laughs> the voice acting is a little strange sometimes. Damn. Don't think so, Ashman. And tell Falco to come himself next time. Hey, Dari, I am tired of your mess. Ow! Get some sleep. We'll talk about settling up later. Okti Sherin, light of my eyes. Sherin. Can't you see my soul is full of sadness? Have you no horse at all? Let go of your material concerns and let me grieve in peace. 
Have we met somewhere <clears throat> before? I'm gonna say it right now. <laughs> I hate her voice actor. It sounds so bad. Maybe it's just me, but that that weird made-up accent is so strange. The woman looks at you with the glassy eyes of a drunk, and you notice the two empty bottles that had been keeping her company before you arrived. She looks completely out of place in this dingy, smoky bar. The fancy attire, the abundance of jewelry, the implants pla plated with precious metals, her appearance not only screams wealth, but also audacity. For only an audacious per person would flaunt their wealth in a place like this. Greetings, Sherin. With whom do I have the honor of speaking? Okay, she sounds better at least in dialogue than she did in the cutscene. Call me Cordant. Well then, here's to our meeting. It doesn't take a genius to figure out that you're someone special, since you've been granted an audience with the Liege of Footfall himself. It's always a pleasure to make the acquaintance of someone powerful. And the timing couldn't be better. Hmm. Jai Hedari at your service. Professional trader, shrewd commercial broker, and, may ash he steal my tongue if I'm lying, the most honest dealer on footfall. I doubt it. Nonetheless, we all have our problems, and at times even one's many merits aren't enough to solve them. Perhaps it would be no trouble for a person with your kind of power and standing to assist someone with my kind of predicament. Hmm. Wait, what? What? Did I miss something? Did she mention stolen cargo? What do you need help with? You see, Sherin, there's one cardinal rule on football. Anything goes as long as it doesn't get in the way of business. I'm someone who's been able to exploit that rule to the fullest. And in recent years, I've hit it so big, I've become a speck of sand in someone's green eye. They used to throw small wrenches into my dealings here and there. Well, now they've decided to really put their backs into it. Some rats stolen my cargo and dragged it off to the seediest part of the Shadow Quarters. A crummy place even for connoisseurs of Footfall's unique atmosphere. Yeah, I think the previous option was incorrect. It's it's mentioning this cargo here. When I asked the leech for protection, we had a mutual misunderstanding. I believe Vladayim, in a most lamentable fashion, has forgotten his duties as guardian of the downtrodden and wronged. So I'm in desperate need of a new one. And you, Sherin, fit the bill perfectly. All I need is for you to drop by one dark corner of Footfall Shadow Quarters and pound it into the thieves' heads that taking Heydari's property carries certain risks. Well, pounding thieves' heads sounds fun. Ah, commerce has succeeded. Jay appears to be a serious operator on Footfall. The Legion's refusal to help means the loss of a potential ally, so Jay is encroaching on his turf. If Vladaim is not responsible for the disappearing of Jane's cargo, he will certainly benefit greatly from it. Hmm. Eh, if the Legion is neglecting his duties, I shall become your patron. May the Exalted One bless you and your progeny. Then here's what we'll do. We shouldn't be seen together before we make it to the safe house. I'll head there first. I'll take my own special route so I won't be spotted. Okay. Right. Here, that's where those ash mags are keeping the stolen cargo. Out the bar, over the bridge, and to the left. There, in the depths, you'll find a small courtyard through which you can get to the place. I'll be waiting nearby. You can come when it suits you, but the sooner you do, the better. I'll see you then, Sherin. Okay, I guess we can take care of this right now. Wanted on footfall. Help Jay recover the cargo from the secret warehouse, the entrance to which is located in the northeastern part of the Shadow Quarters. And I want to check again if she trades. Huh? Wait, what? <laughs> we, this, this is a repeated dialogue. About that woman that started the gunfight up at the bar. Why are you so interested? You looking into her or something? Octaviana catches herself upon meeting your gaze and bows her head low. 
Apologies, sir, me and my big mouth. I guess this is why they broke my jaw so many times. She touches her implant. Octaviana drops her voice. Jay, you know, Jay's pretty great. She's made a name for herself here on Footfall. She's a woman who came from nothing, she follows the unwritten rules of this place, she doesn't walk all over wicked folks, and she drinks like a fish to boot. <laughs> There's lots of respect. The sad thing is, it looks like she's got on the wrong side of Vladaim. And since both of them, well, I guess all three of us, have ties to the Kasbalika, there's no way out of this. Jay should get off of footfall while she still can. Better to lose her business than her life. Okay. <clears throat> so nothing else here. And I suppose we have to go back to the foot... Um, <laughs> shadow quarters, I mean. We will take care of this business for Jay. And then we're also going to... Um, Look for the Enver's hideout. This is cool. All hit chance above 95% is converted to critical hit chance. So the more we increase our ballistic skill, the more we increase our critical hit chance as well, I believe. Okay, so where am I supposed to go? Secret, the winter wish is located in the northeastern part of Shadow Quarters. The northeastern part. I'll lay claim to the stars. So, like around here, I imagine. Or here? This place? Oh, it is. Yeah, we came here before, but this was not available. Make use of cover to minimize damage to your characters. If a projectile hits cover, the target behind this cover won't suffer any damage. Attacks with overpenetration may still hit through cover. Oh, there's Jay. The container is sealed shut on all sides. You notice the remnants of metallic tanks that have been cut. Okay, so Jay, Kor, Tora. Okay. Shireen, I'm here. What a joy it is to see you. Follow me, please. Uh, a new okay. challenge for me? What are we? This looks like a fight. Ah, uh, fight. Yes. <laughs> Is aiding a smuggler an endeavor worthy of a rogue trader? Yes. You are just jealous. She swigs Amasek and wears revealing clothes while your only outlet is praying. <laughs> the container is airtight. You get the feeling that this was originally a standard box for transporting non-fragile cargo that was then sealed manually. Position awaits. properly for this. Uh, talk to her, maybe? Yes, can I help you? Uh, no. I guess we just have to fight here. Right? Take a knee yeah, okay. and bow before me. Give me so strength. what are we looking at? We have a combat servitor. Bandit hit... Okay, the bandit hitmen have a bunch of HP. Servitors as well, but I don't think they are very dangerous. What do these guys do? Melt a weapon. So it's a melt a scorching attack. Reject the flesh, yeah, 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 we know. So I don't want to have people too clumped up or too close to these guys. <clears throat> and what do you guys have? You have a last gun, okay. Quick attacks. Gets an additional attack this turn. Okay, we gotta be careful about that. So, Cassia could be in a prime position to use the eye attack, but the problem here is that if the attack gets stuck on cover, which has happened a lot, it's not going to do much. Okay, let's, let's start. I will put Argento over here. And I'm going to put Idira over here. Seems like a fine position. And... Or actually, I can, I can put Idira over here. And Argenta over here, I suppose. Then my character can... I want him close by to Argenta. We can stay here. Cassia, I want her close by to Edita. This looks fine. Abelard. 
can stay over there. And Pascal, I suppose, can go over there. Everybody is in position. <clears throat> There's no music. I hope. Music starts eventually. This is very strange. <laughs> uh, extra turn to Edita I'm here. Accustomed to being ordered around. Yeah, there's just no music. What the hell? Okay, so I'm thinking about doing this. Hitting four people. Or I could also do this. And also hit four people. Um, and I think I do prefer to... To poison the hitman plus these guys rather than the other way around. So let's do that. And now let's chain lightning over here. On it. Okay, good. So all of these are now dead. Except this one, of course. <clears throat> this guy is difficulty 3. So we'll take... A prey. We're gonna use Word of the Emperor in our party for extra resolve. Anything else? And finish our turn. And Cassia can finish her turn as well. Now it's my turn. I think I'm gonna go for. I can go for her. Actually, no, I can't. Well, I can if I move. I was thinking about giving her an extra turn to also poison the enemies over here. Or if I just want to give it to Argenta so she can start getting some versatility stacks. I will do that. All too easy. Have fun, Argenta. Okay, we have a good line of sight. We can hit all these people. Though, yeah, we do have cover in the way, but... Okay, so. Concentrated that fire. for the weak. <clears throat> Devastating. We'll take some willpower bonus damage here from our main character, but that's fine. And shoot like this. Yeah. As the Emperor commands, I act. <laughs> I don't even know what happened. It was too fast. I think we just hit this guy once and broke a bunch of cover. Yeah, I think that's what happened. I won't use this now. It's nothing. And we can just pass the turn. So time for Cassia. Same as always, rear will go over here. I might bring my character over here as well. The front line will be here. To damage all those enemies. And the back line can go over here for Idida, for instance. Me? If you insist, Lord Captain. Now, let me just think. If I came over here, I can't do much. Yeah, Abelard is in the way. And this will likely only hit cover. I'll wait until Abelard moves before I do anything like this. So, what I'm thinking about doing is, quite simply, buff Idira for more damage there. I have read tomes I of military tactics. actually didn't want to move. Let's go back over there. <laughs> I am a navigator, not Voice a of command. Extra turn. Me, if you insist, Lord Captain. And let's start poisoning people. And I'll, I'll go over here. I'm not sure if these can be poisoned because they're kind of mechanical. We will find out. Well, this one can die right now, I think. We'll do. Yeah, hits everybody, kills this guy for 56 damage. Nice. Good. Very good. And we will just pass the turn. Pass. Let's see what you got. Oh. 30 damage. And poison. Wonderful. Okay. 
Oh, there's more bandits over there. Oh, I see. Armored bandits and a bandit specialist. Okay, so what do I want to do with Pascal? These will both die to poison. I could try to break cover. But I think I want to buff my party first, right? So something like... This? I will just buff. I don't think he's in the poison. And we are gonna get... Tactical knowledge going. I can do it like this. It's fine. Actually not fine. It only counted three. Man, I... <clears throat> this thing is so strange. Okay, my turn again. That guy will die, so I can just assign objective to him. When does he play? In a little bit, okay. So... Assign objective. Nothing I can't do. You serve me. Voice of command. Already done. And I could give this to Idira or I could give this to her. If I give it to Idira, I can also heal Abelard. So I think I will do that. Okay. She will take some damage out of this. Because I will want to use... Actually, I don't need to damage her. I can just use lightning and then heal. I can even shoot over there and kill that guy. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I think I'll just kill that guy. Anything is. Man, sometimes it sounds like the the sound is coming from her. And I get scared. Okay, let's heal Abelard. We'll do. Good. Pass the turn. I can reposition. Do I want to reposition? I guess I can come over here. My tactics are flawless. Okay, good. Now I'm also in the rear. Jay, what are you doing? Besides <laughs> going into the poison. Like... That's helpful. Oh, thank you, my lady. <clears throat> so let's lightning this up again. No point in going there, I will go over here. Maybe kill this guy. Let's mark him as prey first. Okay, so start with this and then heal. On it. What an unfortunate turn on Lovely. So if we heal him, we also remove the fresh injury, which is what Anything I want. Else? Perfect. She also has more than possible, okay. Hitting for one, okay. Don't, get away, get away! Oh, you bitch. Dude. Okay, that, that's a problem because I don't have a shotgun on Argenta. And this is where that situation of using a sniper rifle or a shotgun or a melee weapon plus a pistol comes into play. I think I can save her from this with Idira. By just straight up killing this guy. Assuming that I have enough damage what? for it. Hopefully I do. Or... Yeah, I do. So die. <laughs> Lovely. We even have heroic act. Um, I can give everybody more resolve. Anything is. Should have moved first. I forgot about the poison. My bad. Quick attacks, huh? Okay, he's shooting through heavy cover, which doesn't make a lot of sense. 
And why did he use quick attacks if he only attacked once per turn? That's strange. Yeah, same thing for this guy. Why? Pain and beauty go hand in hand. What? Additional attack this turn, yet he doesn't use it. <clears throat> okay, I can't say I understand what's going on there, but sure. I am thinking about charging over here, kicking the guy into the other one, and just overall do damage, and then endure. This guy plays... Oh, it plays after Cassian. He's, he's dead. Is he poisoned? No, but he's dead anyway. See, I think I will do this. Will you attack of opportunity me? I don't think so. So I'm gonna swap for my hammer. I'm gonna use Brace for impact. We're gonna charge in. My ears are in. Okay. I can still move. This is because of... Sometimes I forget. Because of rigorous training. Yeah. Charge is not end movement. I like this a lot. So I could... Let me see. What does this do? Shove. Pushes the enemy away for strength bonus cells. But I can just Thunder Slam. So I will Thunder Slam. I don't think I'm inside the poison. I mean, yeah, those are both dead, but the Thunder Slam will count as a versatility stack, so I will use that. And just bash this. I will do my duty. This is very lovely. And. <clears throat> I could do a Daring Breach, but I don't think I need it. So it's Endure. Okay, we have Brace for Impact and Endure. Okay, and we dodged, so that's even better. So what do I want to do here? I could move over here. And burst... This guy or that guy. Probably that guy. I I get very close to the combat servitor though. Maybe I'll shoot him instead. Okay, I'll try it. Let's go over there. We're gonna use concentrated fire. I will bathe this battlefield plus in devastating. Fury. Faith without deeds is worthless. We're gonna blast away like this. As the Emperor commands, I am my Emperor! Nice. This guy doesn't go down. Did he save every single time? Or is he just immune? Oh, they only save once, really. I feel like this should count for every single shot, not just the first shot. But yeah, he only had to save once. Okay. <clears throat> so, Power Firearm Mastery. In the will of the righteous. Let's finish the job. Doubt is for the weak. Really, woman, come on. As the Emperor commands, I act. One more. I'll do it. Okay. Shoot this guy. This is why I was chosen. More. Faith without deeds is worth. <laughs> and I could even run and gun and shoot him again. Or I can just entrench. Okay, so Furious Recital. That's a lot of momentum. There it is. Yeah, just entrench. We're gonna get uh, we're gonna get another heroic heroic act soon. 
Yeah, we just have it. Edida is taking some damage, that's fine. Uh, I think I'm not very concerned about pretty much any other enemy here. So I might not even use any more um, warp abilities from Edida. I'm just thinking what I want to do here. Maybe just buff yourself. Let's give some buffs here to Isn't my main right? character as well. Isn't this a job for the serves? Okay. Can't shoot anyone. She has voice of command, doesn't she? She does. So take an extra turn. Okay, so we're gonna go for <clears throat> one, two, three, four, five. I don't wanna take damage. So just go for one, two, and then three, four. And try and knock both of these down. As the Emperor commands, I am. Okay. This guy went down. Man. How did he take such low de I think every single shot he took was over penetration on the on the cover. Yeah, because he barely took any damage. Uh, we're gonna just wait. Cassia is done. I guess I can reposition my front line. To buff up Abelard. Do not dare ask. Oh, never mind, can't see it. What if you go over here? Okay, this works. I am a navigator. Yes, you are a navigator. What you doing? Yourself, it's fine. Okay, Pascal. Man, this poison is, is getting annoying. I can't move anywhere. Um, I could just kill both of these. Right. If I move over here, then I analyze enemies. Fury uh, stupid poison damage. Do I have an... Ugh, of course I have a fresh injury. Damn it. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I will use tactical knowledge on this guy here. Running by Neric override. Get some nice stacks, hopefully. Yes, seven. And now brutal strike on these two. Beyond the science, well, one HP, come on. <laughs> Okay. So I will want to heal him. And for that, I feel like I'm gonna have Idira cast some warp stuff on him. So take this, which she doesn't have, I don't think. And I would like to also get a sign objective on that one. I suppose. Not a problem for me. Okay, so take a turn. Suits my purposes. And do I want to do damage before I heal? Veil degradation plus three. So no, let's just heal him. Oh, full heal, nice. Don't die, don't die, don't die. Phew. Thank God. <laughs> I can shoot somebody, but it's not going to work. But I can try. What of course. Fortunate turn of fate. Wait, what did I just do? Injury is not an excuse to shirk one's duty. What did I just do? Huh? 
Wait, 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 wait. What, what, what? I hit cover. It overpenetrated, dealt shock damage to the bandit hitman. Okay. But then it went to Pascal. I feel like this weapon isn't doing what it's supposed to be doing. Attack all enemies within two cells. That... It... It went for him. And how much damage did we deal? 18? Plus 16? Plus 20? What the hell just happened here? I have no clue what the hell just happened. That was... That did not seem right at all. Uh... Okay. Nothing I can't do. That was very messed up, I will say that. Very, very messed up. Suits my purposes. I think I will give uh, Abelard an extra turn, or do I give it to Argenta? I'll give it to Argenta. Oh, come on, really? I can't. <laughs> okay. My time is now. Now. Right, so. What am I thinking here? I'm thinking about getting over here. Pushing this guy against the wall. Nah, it's pointless, right? Let's just shoot him. Or just hit him, sorry. At your beck and call. <laughs> An exemplary strike. It will be done. I took care of this one. Leveled up. We can charge this guy. At your beck and call. <laughs> Good damage. Uh, do you have Endure right now? Yes, you do. So let's do Thunder Slam. It will be done. Gray hair. Good job. We also Short broke hair. the cover. And hit him again. At your back and call. Good job. I. Not my worst. Oh, what the. Sorry if that was loud, but I mean, what? What was that? She just melted Abelard, who had endured. How? She fired seven shots and hit seven times. She dealt damage to cover and also to Argenta. <laughs> what? the hell man and then she used another toxic burst how is she dealing so much damage to Abelard I... I don't even know. 55% armor penetration. Dude, what the hell was that, man? You wanna bet Edita is gonna blow herself up right now? Just to make things, you know, a little bit more interesting. There is movement in the Empyrean. Okay, well, that's one thing going for us, at least. 
Man, what the hell? She's supposed to be my friend, huh? <laughs> okay, Idira. Can you not kill yourself? Please. If you don't kill yourself right now, the fight is over. Will do. Oh, someone just hit the ground? I think she killed herself and also Cassia. What a mess. Thank the throne we didn't come here with just the three of us. Shut up and get moving, Core. We need to open the passage into the tunnels and let our guys in. Jay, on your signal. What what kind of a fight was this? Is all I have to say. <laughs> oh my lord. If these hashmags dare to touch something from the cargo. Two, three. Yeah, she did blow herself up. Two, three, five. Thank the exalted one. Those hashmags didn't have time to make off with anything yet. Jay carefully inspects the containers emblazoned with markings from some unknown freight operator, then smiles and touches the comm bead in her ear. Give me two minutes, Shireen. I'll send the coordinates to my loyal crew who will deliver my property somewhere safe. And done. Jay removes her hand from her ear and turns to you. We're good. Now, how about we relocate to a more pleasant and private space to discuss the details of our, details of our deal? Specifically, payment for your efforts. What, we're just gonna leave your priceless cargo here unattended? Nothing to worry about. After all the ruckus we've caused here, I doubt anyone will go anywhere near the containers. I am, however, infinitely flattered by your concern for my... now our property. Let's go. So I can't even loot? Jay opens her mouth to reply when you hear the sound of many footsteps behind you. Oh no. Stop right there in the name of the leech. Oh, they're killing themselves. <laughs> there, there's just so much silly stuff happening. The gaunt, pale-skinned man in grimy clerical robes glances at you and immediately falls to his knees obsequiously. Your Excellency! Please forgive my vehemence, most noble cordoned. I never expected to encounter such eminent persons in this corner of footfall. Most noble excellency? Jay purses her lips slightly and shoots you a confused look. I am Vladaim Tokara's personal agent. The man hesitates, choosing his words carefully. I came here to remove from criminal circulation a shipment, the distribution of which is banned in the lands of footfall. Horrendous Zeno heresy that has been fraudulently delivered to a bastion of the Holy Imperium. He looks at Jay. I do not doubt for a moment, most noble cordoned, that your presence here is merely a misunderstanding brought about by another's manipulations. Commerce test succeeded. It is too great a coincidence that the Legion's representative should arrive in the Shadow Quarters just after Jay has recovered the rightful spoils. It seems that the guards reported the problem with the shipment over the Vox, and not to just anyone, but to the Legion's personal agent. Vladaim Tokara knew about the shipment from the start and planned to take it for himself and get rid of Jay in the process, or if he could. Behold, the grubby, underhanded struggle between cold traders. And had not, be and had not been for your impromptu deal struck in the bar, Vladaim might have succeeded. Yeah, so both of these are a little, bit, a, a little bit aggressive, but I guess I'm gonna go for protecting Jay. So Jay Hidari, the owner of this cargo, is presently under my protection, under the rogue trader's protection. Tell your master that you should think twice before crossing her from now on. And don't forget to tell him that I'm not mad, but I will be collecting the debt sometime. Uh-huh. Jay watches him hurry away, then looks at you. I wish I could see Vladahim's face when he finds out he almost stepped on the toes of one of the most powerful people in the Expanse. Listen, Kordamt, I'm genuinely sorry about this confusion. Vladahim and I have had our difficulties, but I never thought he'd want to clean me out and do away with me in some dark corner. At least not so soon. If you hadn't agreed to our deal, Shireen, my gang and I would already be floating in orbit around one of Footfall's asteroids. And yes, my shipment contains Xeno artifacts, possession of which is a death sentence for any commoner. But you, Shireen, do not strike me as a commoner. If I had told you directly, you would have become, shall we say, complicit. But since those illicit words did not escape my lips, you would merely be agreeing to help an unfortunate soul, me, to recapture a few containers. 
My sincerest wish was to protect you from any un unnecessary trouble, Shireen. I swear by the Exalted One. And I do hope that this uh, misunderstanding will not affect our future cooperation. This statement is true, with the exception that you yourself are an uneducated laywoman and a thief who ought to stay away from the technological perversities of non-humans. I am now requesting your preventive disposal. <laughs> uneducated? Me? I've held things in my hands that you, cock for brains, can only dream of in your oil-soaked data fantasies. Stop hiding behind piety and law, you're simply defending your clique's monopoly on anything and everything of interest and monetary value. A lot of options here. So, tell me about your business on Footfall, the truth of it, and don't leave anything out. Alright then, this isn't my first tier in the expense. It's not my first tier in business either. I've sat at the negotiation table with all sorts. Not just loot hunters or smugglers either, but with Xenos. Ones intelligent enough to believe that mutual benefit was a better outcome of our meeting than mutual destruction. I know what the Ecclesiarchy has to say about that. But, speaking from the bottom of my heart, I know where the line is between an ordinary deal and a betrayal of humanity. And I never cross it. A principled rogue can think on her feet and is not afraid of inhumans. I like you more and more, Jay Hedari. Sure. There are no chance encounters when you are loved by the Exalted One. I like you more and more too, Shireen. Jay winks and flashes you a captivating smile. Okay, we can execute Jay, Jesus. A rogue trader could use someone with your talents and connections, Jay. I would like to see you in my retinue. Exalted One, bless you and your entire dynasty. I wouldn't say no to marking, the sp uh, to marking the occasion properly. It's not every day you embark on a brilliant new business partnership. Abelard gives you a look of reproach. You sully the Von Valencia's name by inviting people like her into your retinue, Lord Captain. The decision is yours, but do not be surprised if unsavory rumors start to spread on footfall. Argenta regards Jay. It is a strange circle you are forming around yourself, Rogue Trader. Sister Argenta. Jay gives it an almost lecherous over once over. I've heard all about your deeds on Footfall, but I never would have guessed there was an angelic beauty behind all the idle gossip. And while we're at it, Shireen, when were you going to reveal your true identity to me? Jay cocks her head to one side curiously. I am infinitely flattered by your attention, but if I had known I was talking to a rogue trader, not an envoy of one, I would have shown some decorum. I want to talk like normal people do. For a man of my status, it's a rare treat. That is so... human, your lordship. I guess people at the top have a lot more in common with regular folk than some might think. Either way, I'm entirely willing to join your retinue. From now on, my knowledge and experience are entirely at your disposal. Oh, and... Oh, and one more thing. If you're interested in a rather lucrative offer, one that can give the Von Valences protector the leg up, I'd say now isn't the time to be thinking about such things. But once we get back to your ship, perhaps you could spare me a minute, Shireen. Okay, so we got some profit factor. <clears throat> we got a new um, companion. We can see here Jay. Like I said, she's an officer, I believe. I'm still gonna keep my current party. And... We are going to loot this area while trying not to kill ourselves. And yeah, I was saying, Hidida, don't kill yourself. I want to see what she did. Hidida used Invigorate. Analyze enemies. Psychic Shriek. Uh, then, I guess, some kind of Russian happened. <laughs> Okay, something Russian happened and Edita died. Yeah, 70 direct damage, Petals of the Warp. Yep. Yeah, so apparently we summoned a Screamer of Tzinch. But since the fight ended right there, he also just died, so... What a mess. This fight was, I will say. It was a complete mess. And we're still taking damage. I Stop. Tolerate weakness. Okay, so first Come of all, I'm gonna try and remove 
Injuries was, from what I can. Was that you? Or Yeah, but man, what happened to Pascal? I sincerely don't understand it how that happened. It looked like her gun was going between an enemy and Pascal and some kind of weird interaction with the bounces made it bounce more than it should and it just one shot Pascal which does not feel right to me I'll lay claim to the stars some boots dynamo boots ooh increase the weather's movement points by plus 3 that's very nice that is very nice That is very nice indeed. What is this? Pair holster. Once per turn, when the wearer scores a critical hit with the pistol, the next attack with the pistol costs 0 AP. Hmm. Okay, I like that as well. There are some cool items here, I will say. If they it's work, I'm happy. Time. Uh, something heavy, it is difficult to discern what it is exactly. Is airtight. You get the feeling that this... Yeah, this we've seen this one before. Let's turn me. off the combat log there. We also leveled up. I will check that out in the beginning of the next episode. See, right there. Oh, nice. Some goods. Some more goods. And yeah, I think we're gonna Victory go for awaits. our... Oh, 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 oh. We're going to go back to the ship. Because I have to heal all of this silly trauma that we got. Nothing escapes my sight. So, as a summary, what I'll sometimes I feel with this stars. game is that... There are a lot of elements to strategy where you position properly, you think about what you want to do with your turns and all that all that stuff. <clears throat> but then there's just randomness. There's there's a lot of random elements to the combat which I don't appreciate so much. So for example, I think what happened to Abel uh, to Pascal if it's correct, I don't understand why it happened. Uh, it felt like a weird interaction honestly. But then Idira can just, you know, randomly blow herself up, even if everything is going fine. And then uh, an NPC companion just straight up one-shots our main tank. <laughs> I don't even know how that happened. Um, but yeah. Um, it's, it's, it's just strange. Okay, so we're gonna go back out. We're gonna go to the ship, we're gonna heal up. And we will have a conversation with Jay. And even though some of our companions are kind of suspicious of getting Jay into our retinue, basically, unless there's something that I see as being clearly evil or clearly I going against what we're trying to do, weakness. I will always try to get as many companions into my party as I possibly can. Because I want to explore all of their quests, all of their backstories, all that stuff. And she is part of it, so... A new challenge for me. Okay, so we want to go to the Void Dock Alpha Row. Oh, we also have the quest to speak with the... Um, with the people on the ship's bridge. Because the ship is now repaired. So I guess we can talk to Jay and also take care of that quest. While we're at it. I think it's... Well, first it's I'm gonna stop here, time. actually, because our profit factor increased. We are at 24, so now we can purchase the Cairo Surgeon's or the Chirurgeon's Manual. Gives us a bonus to Medicaid, and it also grants movement points after using a medkit. Gimme. Okay. None Ship. shall stand in my way. Oh, Heinrichs. A familiar figure turns to you. Heinrichs van Kellogg's interrogator of the Ordo Zenos, bows his head respectively. Lord Captain, 
Honored interrogator, what a surprise. Did you perchance leave something in your cabin? Not at all, First Officer Warsarian. I'm not in the habit of leaving a trail. But I thank you for your concern. I like them. I am pleased to see you again, Heinrichs. Heinrichs allows himself a hint of a smile. I am glad to hear that my presence aboard your ship did not leave you with any unpleasant memories. I hope your disposition won't change once I have explained the reason for my visit. I was able to contact my mentor and report the tragic events that transpired on Rykad Minoris. I also received some information from my agents regarding the movements and actions of enemies of humanity, including the Xenos that we're assuming were involved in the theft of the star. According to their findings, the threat now hangs over other worlds. This time, yours, Lord Captain. Heinrich clears his throat and begins in a pointedly official tone. By the order of Lord Inquisitor Xavier Calcazar, whose duty is to stand sentinel over the Coronis Expanse, the rogue trader of House Von Valencia is to take on board the agent of the Most Holy Inquisition and provide escort and support in deeds great and small that serve to safeguard the territories of the Imperium against its enemies. This decree is effective immediately upon announcement and remains in effect until decided otherwise by His Excellency, Excellency Calcazar. Idira's whisper is barely audible. All I got from it is that rid um, all I got from it is that ridding ourselves of this snitch won't be easy. So yeah, basically he's gonna rejoin our crew. So what exactly caused this need to rejoin my crew? The cause is the activity of humanity's enemies, including the cult of the Final Dawn. In my absence, the situation in the Coronas Expanse has changed. I have received an exhaustive report from my agents. This heresy has taken root in the region where the Von Valencia's worlds lie. You probably already know about the fate of the industrial, industrial world of Kavagama. If not, then I will share what details I know, but not here. Better to talk on board, where we will not be overheard. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of talking in the ship. <laughs> Okay. I, rogue trader Cordon von Valencius, welcome the agent of the Golden Throne aboard my ship and take on the responsibility of assisting him in the fight against the evil that threatens humanity. Heinrichs gives a reserved nod, an answer befitting a righteous servant of the Emperor. If duty has brought you aboard the rogue trader's ship once more, then such is the Emperor's will. Welcome back, interrogator. Thank you, sister. It is an honor to be traveling with one of the blessed Adeptus Sororitas. Master Van Kellox. Cassius' voice is brimming with genuine joy, which she immediately hides behind the facade of highborn primness. Since you were with us once more, or since you are with us once more, I do hope you will find time to finish our conversation about the literary works of Cronhaler the Blessed. I will make every effort, Lord Lady Orcelio. I must also deliver this to you, Heinrich pulls out a sealed letter. The Lord Inquisitor sp specified that the contents of this envelope are for your eyes only. I would ask you to read it as soon as you have the time. Letter from Lord Inquisitor Xavier Calcazar. That is everything for the time being. Are you headed to the ship, or do you still have business on footfall? Whatever the case, I can either wait for you on board, or accompany you as part of your retinue. So yeah, we're gonna say no. He can go to the ship. We got some new quests. Yeah, so a lucrative opportunity is to talk with Jay, and Secrets of the Cult is to talk with Heinrichs, and our main quest is to talk with the officers on the ship. So yeah, we're gonna leave that for the next one. I will just position my characters here in front of the ship, because I imagine as soon as we enter we're gonna get a cutscene to talk to people. So yeah, I think overall we're doing fine thus far. Unfair hasn't been feeling like unfair. Uh, we've been able to manage everything we've found so far in terms of combat and yeah we know our, my main issue right now in terms of combat is dealing with randomness uh, like Edita blowing herself up weird things happening when you use your weapons in this case the one from Edita um, or just straight up your NPC companions Maybe killing your party members but yeah, Talk about black uh, this is going to be the end of this one, my friends. As always, I want to thank you all for being here with me in the channel, watching some Rogue Trade. I hope you guys are enjoying it. 
questions, suggestions, anything at all, leave a comment below. If you are enjoying the content, consider subscribing for more, many more videos coming soon, and I hope to see you all in the next episode. Until then, stay safe everyone.